All right, then this video is going to show you how to copy a disc, whether it's a CD or a DVD. Now, if it's just files on a disc, you can always just copy those files onto your desktop and then create a new burn folder and burn a disc. But when it's a movie DVD, when it's a bootable disc, there are some hidden files that you're not going to be able to get to unless you do a full copy. So I'm going to open up a new finder window here and I'm going to go through my applications folder to get to a utilities folder and under utilities there's an application called disk utility so let's double click this app and I've already got an iWork install DVD in the disk drive and this is the disk that I want to copy in this left hand column I'm going to select the disk that I want to copy then I'm going to go up to new image to create a new image of that disk. And an image is basically a file that is an exact copy of the disk. You can leave it as compressed, but I tend to choose DVD or CD master if it is indeed a, a DVD or CD that I'm copying. And you can save it wherever you'd like. I'll just keep mine on the desktop. Then just click save. And now it's going to start creating an image from that disk. Now this does take quite a while depending on the size of the disk. A full CD takes about five minutes and a DVD would of course take quite a bit longer. You can continue working on your computer as this is copying. Um, you just cannot use the disk drive. Alright, now that disk has been copied and if you look on the finder in the desktop there is that disk image, but you can also see it here in the left hand bar of the disk utility. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and eject the original disk. And to create a copy of that disk now, I will select the disk image and I will click on burn. It will ask me to insert a blank disk I just put it in and then I click burn and it will create a copy of that disk and that's it you can create as many copies as you need I tend to keep disk images of my most important disks lying around so that I always have a backup of it